today let's talk about the graphic hardware and software so first we have here the hardware so when we say computer hardware it refers to the physical parts of a computer and related devices there are two types of hardware so first we have here the internal hardware devices which include motherboards hard drives and ram the next we have here the internal hardware devices which includes monitors keyboards mice printers and scanners the internal hardware parts of a computer are often referred to as the components while external hardware devices are usually called peripherals and together they fall under the category of computer hardware now let's talk about the different parts of the hardware of a computer so we have here hardware used to create images so we have here the first which is the ram so the ram or the random access memory is the main memory in a computer the random access memory is the hardware in a computing device where the operating system or the what we call os application programs and data in current use are kept so they can be quickly reached by the device processor then random access memory is volatile that means data is retained in ram as long as the computer is on but it is lost when the computer is turned off after the ram we have here the cpu or the what we called central processing units so cpu are responsible for processing and executing instructions although the cpu isn't as important for overall system performance as it once was it is still plays a major role in running a device since it is solely responsible for executing commands within programs the faster your cpu the faster many applications run after the cpu we have here the graphics card a graphics card is a type of display adapter or video card installed within most computing devices to display graphical data with high clarity color definition and overall appearance a graphics card provides high quality visual display by processing and executing graphical data using advanced graphical techniques features and functions a graphical data is also known as graphics adapter graphics controller graphics accelerator or graphics board next we have here the hard drive the hard drive is what stores all your data it houses the hard disk where all your files and folders are physically located hard drive we have here the monitor the term monitor is often used synonymously with computer screen or display the monitor displays the computer's user interface and open programs allowing the user to interact with the computer after the monitor we have here the ups or the what we called an interruptible power supply it is a device that provides battery backup when the electrical power fails or drops to an unacceptable voltage level small ups systems provides power for a minute enough to power down the computer in an orderly manner while larger systems have enough battery for several hours in mission critical data centers ups systems are used for just a minutes until electrical generators are take over so we are done with the graphics hardware now let's proceed to the software 
So, software, on the other hand, consists of the programs and applications that run on computers. Because software runs on computer hardware, software programs often have system requirements that list the minimum hardware required for the software. Now, let's talk about the different kinds of software. So, we have here first the Photoshop. So, Photoshop is a piece of software for users such as graphic designers to edit photos or images. After the Photoshop, we have here the another software which is the Adobe Illustrator or the what we call the Illustrator. So, Illustrator is a vector graphics editing program published by Adobe. It is useful for designing logos, clip art, blueprints, and other precise resolution independent illustrations. Now, let's have the last software which is the Adobe InDesign. Adobe InDesign is a desktop publishing software used to create documents containing stylized text and graphics. The software also includes various tools for formatting text, photographs, and other graphic elements on a variety of page layouts. The software also includes a selection of templates that users can use as a starting point. So those are the graphic hardware and graphic software of a computer.